What is good, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in to the post WrestleMania 40 edition of the House of Wrestling podcast. I am one of your co hosts, uh, CJ Fiona, and I'm here with the other half of this amazing tag team, Carlito Fierro. I can still call myself Carlito. Yes. Thank you. I don't know, maybe next week he changes his name. We'll, we'll see what happens on SmackDown, but oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. All right, before we get into it, even though this is our, what, seventh, eighth? Eighth. Eighth, ninth, I think. Ninth? ninth? Yeah. I don't know. Something like that. But it's been a while. It's been a few, but this is the very first one that you're actually seeing us. Yeah, we we'll, we'll look like YouTube. What's up? This is the pilot episode, yeah. okay? I mean, we still have not. As you can see, we yeah. still have not done anything to, the, to CJ's room yet. No comments on the room. <laughs> okay. We have some stuff that we want to do, lighting and all that. But we wanted to see this to see how it came out. So, you know, not a better episode to start than this one. Okay. So, go, Bo. Oh, my God. Wow. Well, this weekend was certainly, as if they didn't use this word 5,000 different times all throughout the weekend, this was the start of the new era. And oh my God, where do we even begin? I don't know. It was crazy from the very beginning. I have to say that day one was so good. I thoroughly enjoyed all the matches on day one and I was nervous for day two and at the at the end oh my god it was his it was craziness so yeah I don't know I don't know how to begin this thing this is crazy let's I think before we get into Saturday and Sunday let's talk that rest about pre-WrestleMania Smackdown mm -hmm. because uh a certain someone got eliminated by Akira Tozawa <laughs> Oh my God, JD! What's up, bro? <laughs> what happened? The Sawa, the Sawa. You yeah. got eliminated by Tizawa, man. Yeah. And there was a point where I thought Tizawa was gonna win the the Andre the Giant Warren Battle Royal. <laughs> now it's seconds away from eliminating both of them. Oh, gee, that was that was really good. I I was thoroughly entertained with it, and that was the WWE's way of. Keeping listening to the fans, yeah. to the WWE Universe, because as you remember, there was this meat mania yeah. thing going on. And everybody went, yeah. 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 And they got it. Man, Bronson Lee. He's, 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 I like Bronson. I love Bronson Reed. He's such a badass. He's, yeah. he's funny. He's incredible. Cool. I love him. So, man, and SmackDown was, it, it was interesting. Randy and Kevin Owens outsmarting Logan Paul. <laughs> uh, that was thoroughly entertaining and I believe really, really well done. They had, you could see that they had a lot of fun. I don't know if you noticed, but in all the interactions yeah. and all the promos that were cut, you could see the talent and, yeah. having fun. Like, yeah, you can see like they were all like, Cause they're all really good friends. Like they, they, you could tell they're very good friends. Okay, <laughs> Randy, that, that, that was something. Oh, it was. It, it was, was good. really good. I liked it. I loved it. And then how they transitioned it's that with the golf cart into the uh, stadium. Yes. And honestly, the stage. I don't know what people were complaining about. I loved the stage. The stage was really cool. The stage was really cool. And then the main event of that SmackDown, Jay versus Solo. And we finally saw what we needed to see, and that is Cody Rhodes looked strong. Yes. Even though they planted him strong against the weakest member of the bloodline, which was Jimmy. Yeah. But he that, was still. I think what made him even bigger was that promo he cut at the end, which is exactly what he had to say. Yes. It was well done. It was the best that they could do without making, you know, not nonsensical yeah. things. They were like going against The Rock the same day, yeah. LA Roman. They had the advantage yeah. of having both Bloodline members there. So yeah, it was yeah, it was good. Really good. I, I enjoyed that as well. And then the Hall of Fame. That was very fun. Paul Heyman, we love you. 
Paul Heyman is hilarious. Yeah. Paul Heyman is is the goat. It is in yeah. that aspect. Yeah, and he basically just gave it to us with no preparation. Yeah, he just went well, he's right out and winged it, and winged it. He just went out and did great. Very few people can you go out and do something like that, knowing that you have millions of eyes watching you and thousands of eyes in insane. there with you. Yeah, and it got crazy. And then The Rock getting the uh, Muhammad Ali Championship, the people's champ. Mm -hmm. And then The Rock also going after Cody during his Out of Fame speech. That was something. Yeah. I don't I, I really didn't watch that one, so I can't go yeah, much on that. Yeah, I, I will say WWE has to maybe look into maybe making Hall of Fame its own separate event and not um not making it after Slack. Then we're all so tired. Yes. I just saw Paul Heyman and I went to sleep. Yeah. And they put Paul Heyman at the very beginning, which right. thankfully was good for us because we could relax and go to bed. Yeah. But for them as a show, you know, yeah. they lost a lot of viewership yeah. after that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. There's no way. Then what happened the next day with uh NXT killed it. Like, I gotta say, NXT, they broke every single record imaginable. Nothing like major, like, I think we have a new NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Perez. I love her. She's amazing. Uh, Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams have to leave NXT immediately. They are too good for them. Uh, NXT was incredible. That crowd was loud. And I mean, like, they had over 17,000 people there. Like, that was insane for an NXT show. So I'm very happy for all of them. And then Saturday night. Saturday night. Let's talk about that. Let's get right into it. Let's go. Rhea Ripley, Becky Lynch. How about that Rhea entrance? Wow. Wow. That was just a way of WWE saying, here we yeah. are. Yeah. This is it. This is it. You want it? This is it. Yeah. Wow. And I mean, loved it for Rhea. Yeah. Loved it for Rhea. I mean, Becky had her entrance coming out of the book. That was really cool. <laughs> like, I was like, wow. This, <laughs> this feels fresh. This feels different, which is like how it's felt all throughout the weekend. Yes. Whereas like, this feels new. Yes. A new era. I, I, like I haven't heard that like 10,000 times yeah. in the, uh, in, during this weekend. Wow. But it was. It was a new era. It was the triple. It was part of the ghetto. Like, Trufany, Paul, you are a genius, man. Like, yes, we're happy. We're happy for Triple H taking yeah. over and now being able to see how he yeah. wants to shape it and where he wants to take us. Yeah. What is your dude? Do, right? Take us. Yeah. Take us, man. Take us. Hey, man. Like, let's go. This. I mean, that, that match itself is incredible. Becky. She tried, she did her best, and then Rhea Ripley's just dominated. Yes. Rhea. I love Rhea's makeup yeah. coming out. It wasn't like overly done, like too too monstrous. Yeah. She comes yeah, out normally. Like, this was nice. It, it was intimidating. Yeah. But it wasn't grotesque. Exactly. I love it. Yeah, I mean it was really good. And then apparently Becky like wrestled with like a, a fever that day. Oh. So she was like under the weather, the fact that she put on that performance with like a hundred plus fever, that's wow. respect. Yes. Yes. Professional. Yeah. A true professional right there. It was entertaining. It was. it was great. That that match set the tone for yeah. WrestleMania. I was saying, I remember last week, we should put Rey Mysterio's match at the beginning so we can get it all over with and all that. Oh, and yeah. I am sorry I said that because starting with Rhea. Rhea and Becky and yeah fantastic you just put us in a great mood it was like all right here we go okay, okay. this is awesome and it, ne and it never stopped even with the Ray and Dominic fight it never and like it was incredible yes now, let's talk about I believe the second match was the tag team championship uh ladder match <laughs> I love that <laughs> I'm, it didn't disappoint it didn't disappoint <laughs> it did not disappoint and we, we got two for two on that one right there. Yes. That was, well, you got yeah. two for two. I got one and a half. One and a half. Because I said that Awesome Truth was going to be. And you yeah. said Awesome Truth was going to be Raw. Eight times down, down, down under. under. Yeah, like, just, let's go. And Truth getting tagged. He was waiting for the tag. Match. He's waiting to get tagged. I love that. <laughs> that match was brutal. It was awesome. 
that match was awesome. That match was fast paced. Oh my god! Yes. Yeah. The amount of ladders that were broken. Mm-hmm. The Spanish in our stable was. I love it. I love I the Spanish. Espanol, Espanol, aquí, por favor. I love that. I love those days. And before we go to the next one, can we just acknowledge our truth for you know the national treasure that he is? I love you, Art. They brought him back from obscurity. Yeah. From being on that twenty-four seven, seven championship where. Two. It just looked yeah. ridiculous. So and like everybody comedy. was just like, eh. It was a bad True. comedy act. It was like so over the top bad yeah. that you didn't like it. There was Vince. But our truth now, You're I not- mean, oh my God. And putting him with, with the, the judgment thing? Yeah. Come on. Oh, that's, awesome. that's awesome because it actually brought the judgment day up. And, yeah. So I loved it. I, I just, yeah. you know, I wanted to say that Bringing yeah. him back in this fashion yeah. was that, fantastic. And putting him with Miz and that. And, I mean, the man's 32 years old. Like, he is killing it right now. Yes. And I'm also very glad he got to live out his dream last night. We'll talk about that more. Yes. Later. Yeah, but he was awesome. He was awesome. <laughs> All right, let's keep on going. All right, the next match was uh, Ray. Yeah, it was Ray and Andrade versus Santos and Dom. And that match was actually really entertaining. It was very entertaining. It it had all the arguments to be a great match, yeah. but it also could have flopped horribly. Yeah. But it did. Do you know? I'm so happy it did. And I just gotta say, Andrade is him. Yeah. Like that man wrestled. He was the MVP of that match. He yes. was incredible. Mm-hmm. Dom did. Thought it was good. Dom did very well. I mean, I have to give it to him. I hate the kid's character. Yeah. I don't agree with how he got to where he is, but you also have to understand that that's the way that it had to be in order to get him to where he is right now. And people hate him. I hate him. Yeah. But I don't hate the kid. I hate the character. That means that he's doing a great job with it. Yeah. He can. So now he's relevant. Yeah. Now people actually believe. That he is where he belongs, and nobody questions. Oh, he's you know that he's at WrestleMania because he's part of the Judgment Day, so it's because of him, yeah, and not because he's Ray's son. Oh, yeah, so I like it in that sense. Yeah. He's he does a great job. He does a great job. Uh, still hate him. Yeah, but I like it was the all getting behind it. Yeah, but it was a great. How the guy flew. That was crazy. He just took off. He just took off. like the man just went. Bam. I was like, wow. That guy. <laughs> like, oh my God. Wow. That was great. That yeah. that I love. I'm very happy Carlito did not turn yet. <laughs> yes. Everybody's saying Carlito's gonna turn heel. And then I'm not gonna be able to say I'm Carlito because I'll just be too hurt. Yeah. So well, I don't know what I'll call myself then, but till now. Well, yeah, still Carlito. We'll figure it out. All right. But man, that that was fun. Andrade, incredible. Jason Kelsey living his best life. Ah, 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 My God, ah, 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 Jason Kelsey, come on, man. Oh Jesus, that was fantastic. <laughs> and Jason another just comes out. And I, I, I knew it. I knew it from him. As soon as I saw, I'm like, that's Jason Kelsey. Yeah, you said that. I'm like, that's Jason Kelsey. But I, I saw. Okay, that's Jason, and the other one is Travis. But then they I, had the mask. Yeah, the mask. I like, like the Eagles. I'm like, he's not going to be wearing a green eagle. Yeah, and it was too. He was too tall to be Travis. I'm like. I didn't guess who the second one was. Yeah. But what I'm a guess just Yeah. No, he that guy's living his best life and well deserved. Right. You go, Jason. You go, Jason. We need like a honestly a collab between Jason and Maven would be <laughs> Jason Kelsey, Maven and us on this. Oh. We need to make that action we happen. We need to make that. Maven Kelsey, let's go. Hey, let's do this, Jason. <laughs> yeah, and then Damage Control versus Bianca Naomi and Jade Cargo. Oh my god. God, we knew it. We knew that these girls would get destroyed. We talk about that entrance. That entrance. Wow. I mean, it was sheer energy. It was just like, man. Yeah, like you could even feel it, like on the screen. We're like, yeah. I can just imagine being there. There, That must have been ridiculous. uh, Witnessing ridiculous. Witnessing a Jane Cargo entrance. Oh. Oh. Fantastic. I mean, here on the TV, watching it, it was fantastic. Yeah. That must be, that woman is like a freaking 
Greek god. God, yeah. It's insane. And the match was really fun. It was. It was good. It the amateur drove out really well. Yes. I mean, they're great. They're great wrestlers. There's nothing yeah, I just taking away. Yeah, this from. time to say, and I'm going to say this directly to the camera, but continue, you suck. Oh, why? You. I get it. You grew up in the business. You have no right to criticize Kyrie saying the way you did. You, you, for him to go out and say that she doesn't respect the business, that she doesn't deserve to be in this business because what? She's dancing and having a fun? Screw you. Who do you think you are, man? Like, I get it. You're Booker T. You're Hall of Fame. Bro, the business is more popular than ever. And she's one head of a wrestler. I, I don't, yeah, I'm not a huge damage control fan, but I'm not, I don't like that. Booker T. Come on, man. Okay, you heard it here first. I have no clue what happened here. I mean, he's the one who knows way more about it. I'm just here to help him out. Yeah. Uh, I have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah. So if you would like to enlighten me, yeah. that would be awesome. Yeah, Booker T went on a live podcast. So what we're doing here, he did in Philly with, um, what's his name? Ah, he did. He was a special guest referee for the uh, for the cross match. Oh, the uh, the Dudley boy? Yeah, the Dudley. Okay. He was on his show, and he was talking, and then, like, I don't know how the conversation came up on, like, the damage control, and he's like, and then he just goes off and just says these terrible things about Kyrie saying, like, oh, she doesn't deserve to be in this business, she doesn't respect this business, all because apparently, like, Kyrie was, like, dancing during one of, like, I think it was the August theme song that she was dancing to, mm -hmm. and he's like, that's disrespectful. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you, man? Yes, I don't get it. I mean, it's probably a work. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, kind of weird. That's messed up. But yeah. Booker T, if I see you, man, <laughs> if I see you, <laughs> we're kind of maven on you. I'll say something. <laughs> All right. What's well, next? The Rocky Mountain Bell. <laughs> oh, well, God, it actually happened. It did. Sammy Zayn versus Gunther. Sammy is your new intercontinental champion. Oh my god. I did not think it was going to happen. I wanted it to happen. Yeah. I think I called it. I saw that. Yes. yes. That but deep inside of me I said I was, Yeah, I did I so. want it to happen. Yeah, I thought that was that was the one that I'm like, oh we're gonna be wrong about that. Right. But man, when it happened. Seeing Kevin Owens before and seeing Chad Gable telling me it's on you now and the kids. I was like, yes. Yeah, there's no way. Yes. Yes. When I saw like everything he went to, I'm like, yeah, he's not. When I started seeing him kick like a zombie. I'm like, I'm, yeah. He's winning. It's over. He's winning. Yes. yes. And also Sam, like, please stop doing that. Man. Yes. That was just one time. He really did that yesterday again. Stop it. Stop it. Man. We don't need to see that every time. That was for that match. Yeah. You don't have to overcome. Yeah, every single match yeah. because then you, you are, just bring that down. Yeah. So. You are a champion. You did it. You did it. It worked. We love you, Sam. Great. Stop it. Yeah. Cut <laughs> it. All right. And I mean, Gunther, it's it's over. That reign is over. What happens with Gunther now? World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. Yeah. Give the man a break. Give him, like, have him rest. Have him maybe come back for a feud. I don't know which. Maybe have him through with Chad Gable without the few, like, without, like, without the title. title. Have him being like, all right, you cost me, so I'm coming back. That way, Drew still has this thing. And then just have him win it at, like, I don't know, maybe the Germany show or something like that. Mm -hmm. Because he, he has to be in the main event now. Oh, yeah. Like, he has to be in the main event. Yeah, he's been elevated so much that he needs to be in that yeah. same realm right now. Yeah. But, I mean, it was, he's, he's incredible. He deserves a break. Because the man, like, what, like six, seven, a hundred and something times yeah. he defended yeah. it? Yeah. In 600 days, you yeah. know? Roman in 1300 days, 31 times he defended yeah. it. Kind of. Mm. Yeah. But okay. We'll, we'll talk Roman. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk, actually, we'll talk Roman right now. Yeah. Because right after that. Because right after that, the greatest tag team match. Rock. I had to like, give it to him. Rock trained his ass off. And he was fantastic in there. Truthfully, The Rock looked the best he's ever looked. Like, he's looked... He looked better. He hasn't looked this good in, like, years. Yeah, he looked great in it. 
wrestling wise, yeah. and then just add yeah, that to his character. Like, the man, he has acting skills. We know he has the yeah. acting skills, but I'm like, that's what I was afraid of. I'm like, does he still have He still has it. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. He's absolutely. trained it. Yeah, absolutely. Trained Once I, I started hearing how he had trained, yeah. how he had rings flown all over the country so he could train and God, train with a, like with a trio and then a ref and yeah, everything. Right. So, like, wow. Okay. I mean, he loves it. It's just baby. Because, yeah, like, obviously he always says that he's the TKO group. Like, but he's actually in the board, so it's his thing. So Absolutely. I, I was like, yeah, he's, he's going to do incredible for it. He did. And that match was awesome. That, that match man. ended up actually being Bloodline <laughs> Rules. Yes. That was Bloodline Rules. So we got to see everything. Yeah. We got to see everything. We got to see Cody bleed yeah. in the hands of The Rock. We had My Bloodline Rules. We had Mama Rose calling bullshit on him. Yeah. I was like, damn, Mama Rose. She was, she was adamant. What he wanted to kick some ass. She wanted Mama Rose to get about the to fuck. Jump. Yeah, I mean, she's about to jump the rock. Yes, yes, that was that was really good. That was a fantastic match. And that I mean, having Rock pin Cody was incredible. Yes, I'm like because that started to plant the seeds mm -hmm. to what I believe we will see in SummerSlam or or Major Pit. I think it's SummerSlam. Yeah, so it could be SummerSlam. And the storytelling is impeccable now. Yeah. It's I I read somewhere that it's some meme or comment like WWE hired the Avengers writing team for this yeah and I mean and it was so it what was is so. interesting is they actually did. like there is a writer on the WWE uh, board like on the team that used to write for Marvel oh wow he used to write he wrote like uh what movie was it he wrote um the third Iron Man and he wrote okay. Black Panther wow so. There you go. That's why, and I I don't know how much of an involvement. I hope we find out more about this tomorrow when that documentary comes on. Yes. And, yes. Oh my god, that documentary! I love, I love it. Oh my god, I'm waiting so much. For yeah, it. that's gonna be incredible. But yeah, I'm very excited. I was excited that day. I kind of knew, I kind of had it in my heart that they were going to lose. Yeah. That... And I'm so glad they did because of what happened in night two. Yes. It, it positioned it perfectly. perfectly. Yeah. And I remember I mean, when I told you after we yeah. saw it, now he's going to overcome everything. Yeah. And now it really makes sense that he's going to have people come out and help. Him. Yeah. And can we just say, Seth Rollins, you were the other man. Yeah. As you are. Yes, Seth. You deserve your flowers, man. You go take that break. Yes. Yes. Get that body back in order. Heal. Bro, take your awesome family. Take them, you know, to the Caribbean. Lay on a beach. Relax. Relax. Get massages. Yeah. You deserve it. And then come back and keep going again. Yes. And then come back strong. Um, bro, man. Yeah. Right now, you did it. You and Becky deserve that break. That break. Go go out there in a blaze of glory. Good yeah. So that was night one. Yes. Oh, my God. Night one was incredible. It was. It was great. I was the only with a the great... only thing that I didn't like was the crowd, but I, I was freezing. It was freezing. Yeah, it was freezing. Remember when we were in New yeah. York? We were freezing. I mean, I I wanted to die that day. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's I just realized we forgot one match. Which one? We forgot Jimmy versus Jay. That happened night that one. Night? That was night one. And that unfortunately shows that not only us, but. A lot of people online yeah. are complaining about that match. Yeah. It it was unfortunately a forgettable match. Gosh, yeah. We just forgot about yeah. it. Yeah. And I mean, it's it was disappointing. I think their their moment that they had, night two, mm -hmm. was actually way more yeah. enjoyable and better than that sphere was incredible. The thing is it was only Kicking, yeah, it was like a kick. It was fight. a AEW fight. It was a super kick. It was, it was bam. It was super kick. Very bad. Super kick. Very bad. Super kick. Super. Kick. I don't think they they didn't give him the time to go and like give them that moment where they. And I honestly, this is no disrespect to either one of them. I don't think they can do anything but that. I think that was the match that they can do. They can't wrestle any different matches like we. That's that's 
that is the one thing that I think is holding them back from maybe being able to be a world champion material is they can just wrestle that one match. Yeah. I don't know. It was it was forgettable. Yeah. I'm sorry, but it was it was good. I'm not saying it was a bad match, but for the expectation yeah. of what we thought it was yeah. going to be wasn't for the brother versus brother. I you cannot compare that to the Hardys. And you that. cannot compare that to the Hearts. Yeah, you can't compare that to anything. No. So it was they tried they tried to almost and the like the manipulation like it was so it was so bad. It was bad. I'm like, no, so this bad. it worked in the pandemic where Roman did it to you guys. Most of our it was so bad. Like yeah, no. it was so bad. I, you know, I'm sorry, but I uh, gotta be. That was my least favorite match of all the week. Yeah, just, yeah, that was the worst match of the weekend, and that's including SmackDown, NXT, both nights of Mania and last night's Raw. Yeah, that was. That was forgettable. I mean, their moment that they had, like you said, the moment that they had during the the main event of oh, night two was incredible. It is way yeah. better than, than their whole match. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. All right. Now that we got that on the way, let's get into night two because it kicked off with a <laughs> banger. Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins. Oh my god! First of all, let's Seth and Swift. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most Seth Rollins thing ever. You lost it. You could see how he was like, yeah. you know, like, that you're... humongous hat on his head. You could tell like Drew McIntyre was like, he, <laughs> yeah. he was just like, I'm going to hide it, but this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. That entrance was great. The fight itself made sense of Drew just going straight it at him, you know, weird. because. You've seen how he's been brittle and yeah. battered yeah, that's all about. these weeks. I mean, Plus yesterday yeah. night. Yeah, that was so, else. Yeah. Go straight for the kill, man. Yeah. That was that was I mean, Drew McIntyre. He Mark I mean, poor poor character, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's uh But it makes sense. It makes sense and I mean right there out of he's, he's he's just you know, planting the seeds. Keep he keeps yeah. on planting the seed that he's going to uh, reap when he's yeah. in class. Yeah, because that's when they're going to give him his that moment. Yeah, because it's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. And CM Punk. Hunk. <laughs> oh, CM Punk is amazing. He did. <laughs> he's like a little devil. Yeah, he's like a little devil. He got up again yesterday. I know. I'm like, oh my God, Punk. The little devil, and I love it because that's what Drew did to him. Exactly. So, so, I mean, and that match is going to be right. Yes. Yes. Like that CM Punk Drew McIntyre fight is going to be incredible. Yes. Right now, they're doing all this stuff that we are loving, yeah. but that's leading us in the future to CM Punk going against Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. So, it is. It was good. I mean, the match itself was great. Great, great and match. Afterwards, and then I have to say, before we go into the afterwards, what Drew said last night was true, and I hope that a lot of people got it. When Seth lost mm -hmm. after a great battle, yeah. after being yeah. battered, and after being and he came, you know, yeah, and he more so. I thought it was going to win. Yeah, and wow. yeah, and. He, with tears in his eyes, he just sat on. He saw Drew in the eyes. He looked at him in the eyes. They both had that He's moment. Like, and, you yeah, know, you deserve it. Go for it. And that was a moment because that I hope Seth, people yeah. admire it and Seth take it. Such an incredible man. Yes. Seth is, he's incredible. Yes. And he deserves the rest, like we said. Yes. And it must have been really hard to select because he built that title. That title was his base. Yes. He, he, Triple H said it. How do you put relevance on a title? You give it to Seth Rollins. You create it and you give it to Seth Rollins and let him run with it. Yeah, and he did. And he did. And I mean, he, I, I want to know how many times he defended that title. It have they say? I think they said it. I can't remember. I, I don't remember if they said it. But I know they said it for Gunther. I know they said it for Roman. Yeah, because for him, it was like less than 300 days, right? It's just been less than a year. It was exactly 300 and I think it was. It was less than a year. Yeah, it was less than a year. And that time, I'm pretty sure he defended it almost 
almost 70, 80 times. I think he, I think he probably defended it over a hundred because he was defending it every single week. He was doing it all week. On May, on a live, on live shows shows and things. Every single weekend. Insane. No, but it was great. So once that was over, I said, okay, great. Drew got his moment. Drew got his moment. He's great. And then, well, he went, he said, you know, he, he he had his moment with his family, with his wife. And then he, and then he goes and he starts stalling after Punk. That, that that's when I'm like, no. he's going to cash in on. Yes. That's when I knew. I'm like, yeah. oh, he's losing. I'm like, no, you doofus. Why are you doing that? I'm like, that's that's what you do the night after, bro. That's what the Raw After Radio was for. And then did it. And Punk was not. He was like, okay. Maybe. Don't mess with CM Punk. Nah, he was. <laughs> I CM Punk still has to prove a lot to me. I know he's the greatest wrestler and all that yeah. stuff, but he still has to prove he can fight. He can still fight. fight. That's the thing. I hope he can. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, once I saw Damien come out, I'm like, no. And I love it. I know. I love that. Don't do this to Drew. And he did it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Damien, you deserve it, man. You absolutely. absolutely like, and then his press conference. I was like, "Damn, yes, you guess, yes, oh, for sure." It was great. I don't see a better moment to do that than now. I admire McIntyre yeah. for allowing that to happen. Yeah, because but he didn't have to. Yeah, especially he when he's negotiating a contract. Exactly, he could have been like, "All right, no, I'm leaving." Yeah, exactly. You do this, I'm out. And yeah. you no, know, if you want me in this company still, that you leave yeah. me with the title. But he did it. But he did it. That also shows you like the trust that the talent has in Triple H. Yes. I'm like, all right, I won't win it here, but I have fit all my faith in you that you're going to make it an even bigger moment, which he's going to do. Oh, he's going to make. He's going to make it a fantastic yeah. moment. That's all Drew. Yeah. That's all Drew. That that event over there is all Drew. Yeah. So it was. It was hard because I've seen all the memes. I've seen the things out there, you know, fun. making fun of of Drew. And I what Drew Drew back at that just tweeted mid match. That was hilarious. Well, maybe this will have him now project into another, uh, you yeah, know, another level of, of this character. He's gonna, go on a, he's gonna go on another level of rage. Yes. So I love it. Actually, and, yeah. And that to be the first match, I was like. In- what? what? <laughs> okay. If you start us off like that, what else are you going to do to it? Yeah, I was like, oh, God. And oh, they did. Oh, yeah. They did. And the second match, I believe, was uh, Bobby? Bobby Lashley. Yeah, Bobby and the Street Profits was carrying Cross and AOP. And I got to say, that match was really, really fun. It was entertaining. It was good. Uh, they had a botch moment. And yeah. They had to return to do it. Yeah, as it was the last, you know, it was the last yeah. finishing move, but it was it was good. And Cross, I liked it. Cross is in shape. He yeah. can wrestle. Yeah, he's in a good faction. Yeah, and now they they have he, to start looking yeah. at him more. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. He can cut promo. Yeah, he cut a promo, which is what I wanted to talk about. The promo he cut on Friday before the um, before Mania. That was the best promo I've ever seen in Pegna's career, and that includes his NXT days. Wow. I'm like, wow. That just got me. I'm like, yeah. I, when I heard that, and then when I heard Bobby's promo after SmackDown, I'm like, they're going to have Cross win. Okay. And I, that was incredible. And Cross could still wrestle. He can, like, I just hope they, now they can do something with him. Yeah. And them, because he deserves it. Yeah, he deserves it. He's, he's a good fighter. He's a yeah. good and he's character. And he through everything. Like, Yeah. I mean, he's gone through that weird, awkward phase of Vince. Oh, God. Coming in, leaving. and I mean, yeah. You know, that Raw after Mania. I mean, no. It was uh, just the, a Raw. It was just a Raw. Yeah. yeah and, uh, the Raw. It made him lose yeah. the Hardy. Yeah. yeah. That was that was bad. It looked horrible. And that helmet he wore. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Why they gave him that so sick character, but yeah. So I'm I'm happy for him. Yeah. He had his WrestleMania moment in a good way. Yeah. And it's it seemed, you know, very believable, very, you know, 
this is a guy we have to keep our eye on. Yeah. And let's let's hope that they keep on doing so. Yeah. And then um early night made G Styles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was a good match. It was a really good match. It was a good match if you want to look at it like that. But I don't know. There was something missing. These guys, especially AJ Styles, he's legendary. We we can't say, you know, a lot about uh AJ because he's he's put in the work. He's yeah. in there. He's, you know, his name is up yeah. there. And then you know, L.A. Knight, everybody put him over. He was, yeah. he's the the golden boy with them and all that. He, he had a chance at Roman, for heaven's sake. Yeah. And they did a, a, a good buildup. But I don't know. There was like something, something there was just not. Maybe they were too it, it, equal. They were just matched. It was up. A, I don't know. It's not a WWE style match, which, which is why everyone loves it. Because mm -hmm. that's not, these two guys aren't. And they're the rare exception. They can fit anywhere. AJ Styles and LA Knight could wrestle bangers all over the world, AEW, New Japan. That fight was pro wrestling. It was incredible. I loved it. I honestly think it was one of my favorite matches of the weekend. Okay. Like, LA Knight, incredible. He's got a great future. AJ Styles, his new theme song. Thank God they didn't mess it up. Thank God, because Jesus Christ, the people they have making these theme songs Steph Rubble God the hit or miss with them so yeah. I loved it I loved it it was great uh, I think it was a match that was fresh I, I don't think it was the and that's my that's been my issue with AJ throughout the years especially his Wrestlemania matches he has never like been allowed to like dive into his uh his fighting style it's always been like guy oh, you gotta put on the show this one was a fight it yeah. wasn't a show it was these two guys wanted a fight and that's what they did and that was incredible that's right i mean because i'm pretty sure that you and people around your them yeah. your your age group are the ones that they're targeting with yeah. a new era yeah. type thing for me it was kind of like like i said it was great yeah. technically wise but it wasn't you know wow yeah but that's what they're going for yeah. i think they're they're hitting the mark with it yeah it was really good and thank God they had an elite Nate win. That was the only thing I was worried about. I'm like, don't don't have him lose. And he al he already lost one. Yeah. So go done to it to him. Yeah. But it was a good fight. And then who was next? Logan, Hello. Kevin, Randy, I shall speak. And I shall speak. <laughs> when I tell you that might have been like one of the I I I have friend I have a friend who doesn't even watch pro wrestling. He texted me, he called me that night. He's like was that speed? <laughs> was that freaking speed? I'm a just man. It was speed. Oh my god. Oh speed. I thought it was KSI. Yeah, me too. I was, I was like, like uh, let's just say KSI. KSI. Why did you so... take it out? I think it's speed. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Randy just gave him an RKO, and speed was like in heaven. He's like, oh my god. I I, mean, I, I played soccer with. Uh, uh, like, Ronald's and all and met him. Truthfully, this man has lived the dream. Now I get RKO'd by Randy during WrestleMania. I mean, I want to be used. Yeah, Jesus Christ. I'm like, yeah. wow. And that's awesome. And the match was really good. No, it was good. It was really good. Yeah, there was no doubt that that match was going to be good. Love, love and retaining. It was just a thing. Yeah, you said that. I think Cleveland. Cleveland. He's, not, he's not losing it to Cleveland. And I don't know. Maybe maybe at any night. Could be the one who beats him. Yeah, that's a good. I mean, Randy doesn't need it. In KO, eh, he doesn't, you know. They're more like because they dislike the kid. Yeah, and it was. Thing. And that is, I think, something that made it so, so fresh mm -hmm. and so good that it wasn't, it wasn't really the title that they were after. No. They were just after going after. Look, they just wanted they just to kick his butt. And they did. That was They it. did. That was it. You know, all they wanted was, you know, to, to beat him up, and they beat him up. And that RKO from Randy. Wow, might have been the... I was like, wow. Yeah. That Papa power bomb into the I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, dude. Yeah. Randy. Like, Randy's got it. Randy can still go. Randy's Randy. Now, I'm, I'm very excited to see what they do with Randy now. Right. They have, I mean, right now, everyone's just guessing. Like, I'm, 
I'm super excited. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm yeah. super excited to see. Okay, here we are now. What do we do? <laughs> yeah, like, what's what like, is the new era? Thank yeah. you. Now what? Now what? Yeah, we do now. Yeah. I mean, Randy, he, he can go. That was, that was something. I loved it. Yep. I learned Bailey and Theo. Yes. Bailey to Bailey. Bailey to Bailey. That's, that's the only thing I wanted to see. Bailey to Bailey. Yeah. Just I like saying. That was right. really, that was a really good thing. Theo can wrestle. Oh, yeah. Of course she can. They made her look weak for a while, which sucked because she was only yeah. in the background holding the yeah. idol and ink. Yeah. yeah. Come on. I but, that was, you know, that woman can wrestle. So, like, and Bailey was incredible. That was. Yep. That, and she deserved that moment. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely deserved. That woman has fought, you know, for so many years and yeah. has done so many things. And Yeah. And then having like that, uh, having her family there and having Sasha Banks there too. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. shout, yeah. Shout out to AEW for allowing those rest of us to be there. Yeah. It's like, why not? Yeah. Because they didn't do anything, anything in yeah. the. Yeah. It's it's just, so they were never even they were never even shown on like yeah. on the broadcast. We just know because everyone was like tweeting about yeah. it. Because it's it's so dumb yeah. that that those feuds and things. Yeah, it's like come on, and that's just between you know high upper management yeah. and the stupid fans, the one against yeah. the other. Stupid. Because if you you're can, a fan of wrestling, you can enjoy. You can I enjoy both shows. Listen, listen. people. Yeah, it's a. I'm, I watch literally SmackDown Raw Monday, NXT Tuesday, AEW Wednesday, Impact on Thursday, SmackDown on uh, Friday. I watch it all. Like you, you don't have to complain about it. So yeah, I don't know. It's just yeah, I was we have a problem, but we don't have to talk about that. Yes, yeah, so I was gonna say like I just watch Raw and sometimes SmackDown. Yeah, and, and yeah, when something good happens. But, yeah, yeah. I don't have time to be doing this stuff like that, but yeah, that's why we have him. Yeah, you know, we're we're fortunate. There you go. Yeah, and then Avengers Endgame happened. <laughs> that that was it. Started off how we, surprisingly for me, I was expecting to see the entire bloodline come out in a procession and be like sharks circling uh, a ring. I think the way that I was expecting that to do it the way that you know, I'm like they're gonna do like an Avengers Endgame. I, they're just gonna like come out, and one's gonna come out, and then the other. And that match was incredible. That was, and then the fact that they gave Roman and Cody that like bit of time before the first interference came to just go and wrestle, mm -hmm. and Roman being able to trash talk, and Cody that entrance from Cody Rhodes, oh lord, <laughs> I was like, hey, he comes out with that skeleton, and that helmet and like, was what? designed by um. By the same person who designed Bray Wyatt's uh, Fiend costume. Oh. And he's actually sweet. one of Bray Wyatt's really close friends. So oh. Cody asked him to do it. Sweet. That's So awesome. I was like, yeah, that's cool. No, that's and that cool. entrance was incredible. I was like, yes. 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 And then Roman's entrance, was, which was one of my biggest complaint, was of night one. The Rock's entrance was incredible. Yeah. The Rock had, I mean, the Rock had the best <laughs> entrance of anybody during <laughs> WrestleMania. It was just the best. Yeah. It was just, you know, yeah, too good. And then, I mean, they had Roman come out, like, if it was another, like, pay-per-view. But mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, night two, you better bring it. And he brought it. Yeah. That entrance is good. Yes. And man, Roman, you, you, he's incredible. He is. I mean, he, you have to, you have to take your hat off to the guy. He did what was yeah. asked of him during all this time. I believe that his reign... <laughs> was too long that they should have done it before but he still managed to pull it off yeah and it was it was too predictable you know that it was the same end yeah. over and over and over again you know like you know that either jimmy or jay at the very beginning was so more. or solo towards the end yeah. they were gonna cost yeah. them Coming out, yeah, in a hoodie, yeah. Whatever you're like, yeah, come on. But yeah, me today was a wow, well, uh, Sunday, yeah, was a masterpiece, yeah. And you could actually see a Roman for what he was, yeah, and his vulnerability, yeah. And I mean, it was, yeah, 
he, he, he is incredible. And the fact that he did it like during the pandemic, like with his health and stuff, I was like, whoa, dude. Yeah. But I mean, it's not his fault yeah. that WWE messed up. You know, like how, how is it possible that in 1300 days you yeah. defend the like, title 31 times? Yeah. How is that possible? Yeah. That's like, you know, you can't say, yeah, I've, I've held it. Yeah. Yeah. You've held it. But you haven't defended it. Yeah. You know, so that was on WWE, and that was during the time that Vince was there and all that. I don't think Vince ever wanted to make him lose. I think if Vince was still here, he'd still be changing. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think, like, Roman, he, he, did, he did the best work of his career with the Tribal Chief character. Like, yes. It was yes. the best. Oh, and the last was, and the storylines he put on, like the Sami Zayn Montreal one, mm -hmm. Jay, Cody. I'm like, yeah, this man. Yeah, no, it was, it was time. I mean, it was past yeah. the time, but it was, it was time. time during Triple H's era. It was the perfect time to get rid of that, yeah, and start fresh, and maybe give Roman something new. Something more exciting, like yeah, what they're saying yeah, now. Yeah. I don't know what that is. If we see him, I I don't think we're gonna see. Him. I think we'll see him like a couple years down the line. You think so? I mean, Triple H made it sound yeah. like he's has something, yeah. So we don't know because maybe that's what we're all expecting. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, if he comes and he shows up and he does something yeah. totally out of the blue, why? Yeah. What is that? You know. So yeah. it's yeah. it's something like yeah. that could happen. Yeah. He deserves his rest. He deserves yes. to shake his ass. Like he he deserves his flowers. And yesterday, hearing the crowd chant "Thank you, Roman" was incredible. Like you, he did it. We will probably it will be years and years and years from now that we see another reign even close to Roman. Yeah, I don't think Cody's gonna have one like that long. I think that they're going to, you know, be like what you said before, more fresh. Yeah, more dynamic i yeah. think he's gonna have at least maybe a year yeah i think gonna have i thought it was at an extras mania could be maybe not mania maybe the one mjf afterwards okay but i don't think mjf if he comes i don't think they would if they didn't do it with cody that the first mania he maybe. came back he yeah. got it I, yeah. I was thinking cody should last about a year and a half getting close to yeah. two years i mean Maybe they're gonna turn it here. But they want to turn the view. Away. Yeah, they want to, yeah. but they can't do it right yeah. now. No, they have no. to. You know, I mean, it's gonna be interesting. We we know the Rock is down the line. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to see who he defended against because this is like yeah, the very first one. Who do you think the very first one's gonna be? Uh, I don't know. You gonna get, think they're gonna go and throw Gunther at it at the very first try? I think Randy. Okay, actually, I don't want it to be Randy because I know what I think. It all depends on what they decide to do. Randy, the moment they turn Randy heel, he's going after Cody. All right. I could see maybe, um, maybe AJ okay. being uh, like he he got. I think everyone who got screwed over by Roman, Cody will give a chance to. Right. That's that makes sense. Yeah, that's a good way to try it. I think that's what they're gonna try to do, which is like title win. And so like Kevin Owens, uh, Randy, LA Knight, guys like that. Mm -hmm. I would be his. Yeah. And what do you think after they started coming out? After Jimmy was the first one to come. Yeah. out? Well, I actually showed your mom yeah. from there. I'm like, listen, you don't have to see anything. Just watch it from here. And we were watching it. And your mom got excited. Yeah. I kid you not. That was. There was brief moments. And we'll get into it deeper down the line. Where I actually shed a few tears. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think you know the moment. When Jay came out. I was like. Yeah, okay. This is crazy. This is great. Rock. Uh, who came out then? Solo. Solo. Then it was Solo. I'm like. Okay. I I didn't know who was going to come out then. I'm like. Seth maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm like. Cena. And then when Cena's music hits. I'm like. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my god! They're making it the biggest <laughs> WrestleMania. Yeah, that was like history. insane. And then the rock, rock music. 
I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Oh. And then seeing them both in the ring, looking I at like, each other. Oh my God. I mean, hey, did we just get that match again? I, I don't care anymore. I just went too. back to my child. Yeah, I was like, oh my God, what am I watching right now? Yeah, and I, it was special because the first WrestleMania I actually watched, they, they those two were the main event. Mm -hmm. That was John C. I'm like, and then the freaking Undertaker comes out. I was like, oh, I was like, oh my God. That was great acting on The Rock's part. Yeah. You know, there you could see that he's an actor, you know, like he's not like the oh, yeah, little space of like, you know, yeah, it was shot. great. It was great. And then Undertaker just went, bam. And then he all disappeared. Yeah. I was like, the only one to, well, no, no, uh, the, then, uh, before the Undertaker, it was uh, set yeah. with the Shield music. That's when I quit. Zal was like, yeah. I, and I, did, I, I, I have, know. I have to admit, I know a lot of people have said this. There was a brief, there was a small portion where I'm like, no one's seen Moxley in AW TV for weeks. I'm like, tr I'm like, when I call it the music, because I'm like, I was expecting Seth to come out, but Seth to come out and like with this music. When the sheer music hit, I'm like, no way. Yeah. I was like, oh, where are they? Where are they? I'm like, I was like the rock. I'm like, where, where, not, are, they bubbling? where are they coming out from? Where are they coming out from? Oh my God, where are they coming out from? And then I didn't know what happened, you know, when he was going to hit the rock with a ch I didn't even see yeah. that. And then Roman, and then I just saw Roman. I'm like, what? was that just Roman? What, what happened here? What happened? And if it wasn't for Michael Cole telling me what happened, I was yeah. like, I'm so confused. Like, what do I have in there? You know, and he's like, oh, Roman just about a seven right by five shots. That was going to hit the rock. I'm like, oh, so it is what I thought. Yeah. Like, okay, okay. That was beautiful. Yes. The ending to that match was perfect. That that was having that was great. And when when the darkness yeah. gave, you know, back to light. And then, yeah. And you could see Seth on the ground and Roman saw the, the chair, chair and he, he saw the Cody the, and the, said, the, uh, well chair. he had the belts too the former yeah. Rhodes belt was there and he grabbed the chair and he just could have finished Cody and won and won but he saw Seth and in the shield Cody. when he yeah. had told Cody that he was going to, to be, be his, his shield and yeah. that's exactly what he did and and Roman finished his story. And as this is really something that was in his, you know, DNA. It was something that was bothering him for 10 years yeah. that his brother Betrayed. had betrayed him. And he was standing right there. And with just yeah. one swing of that chair, you know, he let it go. And he got rid of it. And he finished his story. And, and I don't know. If, I don't know. I, I haven't. I actually have, and I'm very surprised about this. I haven't seen anyone mention this on Twitter or on like social media. Did nobody notice that Seth fell in the exact same spot, in the exact to that same rope that Roman did all those years of you know, I was he like, fell the exact same way, same way, and same spot. I was like, oh my god, yeah. And then Cody won. And then Cody won. <laughs> Cody. And then Cody won. Did it. I, I it was just I, it was a movie. Yeah, it was I said, oh, yeah. It was it was it was it was a movie. Yeah, it was, like, it was I mean, great. You know, it was like honestly watching a great movie. You yeah, know, where like, we're like, oh, you've suffered so really? much. You've gone I have so much. I haven't felt like we go to the movies all the time. I haven't felt what I felt that night since we watched Avengers Endgame. Yeah. Like that was not Cody, I was like, oh my god, he did it. Yeah. And I mean, it was insane. I'm, I'm, I still can't believe it. Like, yeah, we're staring at, I'm staring at that Roman, uh, painting up there. I can't yeah. see it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Roman painting up there. Yeah. I guess how much, that is how much of a WWE fan I've been. Like, I, Roman, that was awesome. I just, that felt like the end of an era and the beginning of a new one. It was yeah. so, yeah. so great. It was a great way to finish it. It was, wow. That, I loved it. It was, I was like, hats off yeah. uh, as you pull it off. And that gave Roman his his ending as yeah. well. And he walked out into the sunset and he hugged with the wise man and they walked out. Yeah. It was perfect. It was hats off. WWE, hats off. Hats off, yeah. 
Right. Now let's see what happens. Now we're all, you know, I was, wow, I was like worried for yesterday because I'm like, I feel like I'm drained. Yeah. I'm exhausted. Oh, it. I mean, what What are they going to do for Raw? And it was funny. It was modern. It was, it was, it was cool. Yeah. Out. What did the Raw candy? What did the Raw give? Cody. I think he gave everybody to tell him that it was matches because he burned down his bus. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, not too far yeah, yeah. but I think he made maybe he gave him like uh, like people are saying that I think he could have I think he gave him like a broken watch mm-hmm. and he's like saying like oh this is like Cody's watch that they gave him. Mm-hmm. I think they could have given him like a broken watch and said, Oh, this is your watch. But why did he say don't break my heart again? I don't know. That's the weird thing. And that's the great thing. Because that's, they just threw something and, at us and the, and that are, is messing with our minds. Yeah, and, it, and this isn't something that's going to be like, so like next week. I'll, no. Because we're not going to see The Rock from here to right. No. Oh, it's going to be debating and yeah. putting out theories there and things yeah. like that. Why did you say, you know, don't break my heart again? Yeah. I'm like, okay. Maybe, you know, one of them, and I'm going to throw it out, is maybe... You know, he didn't want to turn heel. And then when all of this yeah. craziness with the uh, with the uh, Cody Crybabies happened, yeah. he got hurt because all the universe went against him and yeah. booed him and all yeah. that stuff. But he had to do it because they pivoted. So maybe that's one thing. I don't know. But what would he have given him, though? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's, that's the weird yeah, thing. I don't, I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe they had some sort of thing, yeah. you know, for yeah. Uh, we'll we'll learn tomorrow also more about I'm not that. Agree with you, but then the matches that we did see yesterday fresh i was uh, i awesome the camera I, angles oh yes oh yes especially the one after rio got attacked yes and the transition to the yeah, crowd dom just uh, wishes sweet. the the camera yeah, away and the camera just comes out yeah there's no way we can't talk about that that is that's like wow that is nice that is yeah. nice because we Bro. are we're showing it. Okay, we're not only talking because everybody... Yeah, we're going to take it to the next level. You yeah, know, it's now the new era. It is yeah, it's now this. Era. But you don't show anything. Yeah. They show that everything is like the damn same. Yeah. But this, yesterday, sure. you're like, okay, these matches don't feel the same. No, no. Oh, fuck, it doesn't we feel the same. Oh, yeah. Even the camera angles don't feel the same. Oh, wow. How did they position the people now? Yeah. They took out the humongous stage yeah. to put out more people in there because they didn't have... They have yeah, they have a thousand people was like oh my god look at that and it was awesome it looked way better than having just that humongous stage in the back that yeah you do that, that, that nothing so like it was great it was great i love the like, camera even, even though it like, the setup everything was done incredible awesome awesome so i'm just excited to say i'm excited for this new era i'm excited like to see what happens next yeah that's that i'm i'm super excited so we'll We'll be uh, we'll be talking more about it. Yeah. Uh, Want to let you guys know our video with Maven coming out this week. I'm finally finishing it up. Yeah. We're going to put it in the House of Wrestling YouTube channel. Yeah. What is that you say? It's the YouTube channel where you're watching this video now. It's a brand new YouTube channel, part of Pegasus Media, and we will uh, be putting all our wrestling content here. Yeah. The very first video video beside the podcast will be the Maven video. And, well, I think it's time to do this. All right, so a quick backstory. Uh, exactly three years ago, to this day, I decided to come up with a crazy idea and say, screw it, I'm going to start a podcast. Literally, in the same, not the same chip, but in the same position where I was in now, I was just like, let's do it. I call my friend. I'm like, all right, dude, I have this crazy idea. You want to go? Want to go to Hooters? We had this thing in Hooters, and I don't know. We talking, we talked with dark ideas, and I'm like, this felt different than things we've done in the past. We've had like crazy ideas. We're like, oh yeah, we want to do this. This felt like, all right, I'm gonna do this. And then three years later, I've been able to live my dream. Cobra America draws games. Interviewing coaches, Scaloni, Inter Miami games, 
and that was great and that was amazing and then i a couple of weeks ago i've just been thinking i'm like i knew this day was going to come so i'm like it's great and i love what i've been able to do now i want to change things up so then the house of wrestling was born i'm like enough for wrestling i want to I know a lot of people love pro wrestling, so I'm like, let's do this. Let's add that. And then I'm like, I'm not going to do this by myself. So I'm like, I have my dad with me all the time. So I'm like, let's get this. And this was born. And now my goal is, as I was younger, when I was younger, my goal always was ESPN or now I want to change the media game. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what that looked like yet, but hell, I didn't even look. I didn't know what this looked like. I'm a. I'm gonna change that game. That's that's my end goal. That's what I want. I want to change to revolutionize. What exactly? We'll find out. But I just want to thank everyone. I want to thank you specifically because you have not let me give up on my dreams. You have allowed me to continue this, and you've helped me. I mean, Maven doesn't happen because Maven doesn't happen without this man, like. None of this happens without him. I'm just a pretty face that we get through, and I've, I'm just a pretty boy here. So having him and having Armand, it's like I've had a lot of help, and I love everyone who's listened to it. I mean, we go from a five-minute podcast in my friend's bedroom to having 10,000 people listening to me going crazy about an all-star game. Like, I'm not done yet, yo. So this is just the beginning. We just turned three years old. Let's see where the next three take us. And hell, we've mentioned it many times, but this is a new era. So with that, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you next week. Happy birthday, Bubba. Thank you. Adios, amiguitos.